Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and today we're going to be talking about how to get legal weed in the UK. Now, just need to start this off by saying that this is an educational video, YouTube. Like, here for educational purposes only. This is like super vital educational information. So, YouTube... Please don't do anything with this video. This video is okay to be here. So in this video, not only are we going to be going through how you can get legal bud, but we're also going to be going through what legal bud is actually like currently available in the UK because a lot of stuff has changed. A lot of stuff has changed, especially since I last made a video on this because um, I made a video about this probably like two years ago. So yeah, that's what we're going to be going through. But before we get into that, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Professor Herb. Yo, these guys are sick. This is literally just like a little pouch of hemp. So, you know, when you roll in your J's, you can literally just get some of this mix it in there and then you don't have to be using no tobacco or whatever so yeah big love to professor herb for sponsoring the video they specialize in everything hemp so check them out in the pinned comment down below so starting this off legal weed weed is legal in the uk yes weed is legal in the uk weed has been legal in the uk since 2018 the home office like changed some weird thing and they basically said yep yeah, medical cannabis is a-okay now you might be hearing that and you might be like medical cannabis that's not what i I was thinking this video was going to be about i thought it was going to be like a general thing that like pretty much anyone could get like i thought you had to have cancer to be able to get a medical prescription in the uk no like one third of the uk is eligible for a prescription right now because you don't have to have some crazy serious condition to be able to get medical cannabis all you have to have is just anything where medical cannabis will kind of benefit that um and when i say that like look let me just go on to my clinic for example and show what they treat so they treat pain psychiatric treatments neurological treatments uh gastroenterology treatments cancer treatments and palliative care now that's not the only things that all clinics cover but for my clinic that's what's on their website and to be honest that's generally how it is in the uk it's pretty much anything like you know we're talking anything from stress sleep anxiety pain uh, all the way to like really serious stuff like you know cancer and i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that i don't think your condition is bad enough to be able to get medical cannabis i think that's a very weird thing to tell somebody um so uh yeah if you had any of these things then you are eligible for medical cannabis so you hear that you think damn i'm definitely covered i've got one of these things what do I do now? How do I do this? So what I would actually recommend is there's a website called medbud.wiki, right? And you go over to this website, it has all of the information you could ever want. It has a list of all of the clinics, all of the pharmacies, all of the bud that's available. It has everything. But the main key thing on here is that you can go through a list of all of the clinics. Okay, really quickly, I have to pause this because medbud.wiki is down at the moment and I go on about them a lot in this video and it is one of the best places to get information from. Uh, the only thing is obviously where it's down right now, if you really want to look into this as soon as possible, um, then you can't really. But right now on the screen, there's a big list of all of the clinics that are currently available in the UK. I think that's every single one. Maybe there's a couple that are new that are missing off there, but that's every single single clinic so although you won't be able to check all the flower out until the website's back up which I, I feel like the website will probably even be back up by the time I release the video but just in case it isn't you can at least look through all of these clinics that are on the screen right now and then hopefully by later today or tomorrow the uh uh, the website's back up and you'll be able to see everything else and you can kind of just go through all of them look at all of the prices look at what conditions they cover look at how many previous prescriptions they require and then work out which clinic works best for you now i know some people might hear that as well and go what do you mean by previous prescriptions so yes yeah, some clinics require two previous prescriptions some of them only require one but they definitely will require at least one i actually tried to look up for this video which clinics only require one but medbud.wiki was actually offline while i'm filming this so if anyone in the comments can let me know which clinics only require one prescription, that'd be sick. Because I did hear there are some that only require one. But for the most part, a lot of them require two previous prescriptions. Now, that could have been in the last five years. Like, say, for someone like myself, the last time I got a prescription for my condition was, like six seven years ago um but i've been using cannabis for my medical issue ever since then so um obviously all my medical records still back that up and everything's fine it's not like you needed to have had a prescription last week to be able to get on a cannabis prescription so after you found a clinic that works best for you you found out one that fits your conditions it fits the previous prescriptions all of that good jazz it's the right price for you as well because depending on your budget might depend on which clinic works best for you like say my medico that i'm going with right now they actually have quite high initial fees but 
after you've been a patient for a year, then there's no fees. So for someone like myself, who's already been a patient for a year with another clinic, I'm joining them and then I have no fees. So it makes a lot of sense for me to go with them. But depending on, you know, where you're at and what you're doing, it might be best for you to go with somebody else. So I, that's why I always say, do your research on a clinic, find the clinic that works best for you. But besides the point, let's say you found the clinic that works best for you. What do you do now? So all you have to do is you get your NHS number, you get your GP details and you send it over to the clinic. You sign up, you wait for them to get all of your like summary of care records and everything so they can just check that everything you said is real. And then once they've checked, that you have your interview with them and that's pretty much it you'll then be prescribed cannabis now in saying that once you have your initial consultation with them i think that then has to go to a board which has to get like doubly approved but once you have that approval from then on you're pretty much good so now the question on everyone's mind is well what could i be getting what legal bud is there in the uk now i will be going through that in just a second but before i do i really need to say this okay we just dropped a bunch of merchandise we got grinders we got rolling trays and we got lighters available at drewspremium.com now i will say this as well my whole youtube channel got demonetized recently luckily enough that happened just at the time when i've released merchandise <laughs> so um yeah if anyone wants to support the channel with the merch feel free that would be fucking sick it's available at drewspremium.com. In the future, I'm going to try and fund a couple of these big trips like Canada and Thailand just through the merchandise alone so I don't have to like deal with getting sponsors for the episodes and all of that good stuff. So all of the support really does mean a lot over on the Drews Premium, especially because the channel got demonetized and it got demonetized for something that didn't even happen, um, which is really dumb. Like a video got hit for something that didn't happen in the video. I can't even explain what YouTube thinks happened in the video because um, it's that bad. I can't even say it. And I tried to inquire about about it to get them to fix the video and like reinstate the video right and youtube doubled down on it and was just like no we're going to demonetize your entire channel now for something that literally didn't happen so thanks youtube and uh yeah support the merch if <laughs> if you can uh if not no worries but i very much appreciate it if you can but right let's move on so what bud can you actually get? Okay, so I'm on medbud.wiki right now, which is where we can see all of the different bud and flower that's available from every single pharmacy in the UK. Now, as I'm saying this, medbud.wiki is down. I did mention that earlier. So the only way I'm able to see this right now is by going on one of my old Twitch live streams. So I don't have as much control as I would want to to be able to click through stuff and look at stuff. So let's have a quick look through some of the stuff that's available here. We got Kush Kush, which is a kosher Kush cross uh, pure Kush and a triangle Kush. We got an old school OG, Glory Sum Cookies, Glory Goo, uh, Tripoli, Cario. These are all £5.50 a gram. Like super, super cheap. All right, so you can just have a quick scan here from this clip in the video. But hopefully by the time I put this video up, medbud.wiki is back up and you can just check it over on their website. But um, have a quick look through here. There's a bunch of different options, a bunch of different price points. It's getting pretty wild now, to be honest. Like the options there for medical patients is quite sick. This is actually a new one that I wanted to try as well, which was the, the Wico Frosted Lemon Angel. Even though it is an irradiated one, I'm very interested in it. I still haven't tried the Mac by uh, Miracle. Valley. That is apparently one of the best things that's available right now. So yeah, a little bit sad that I can't go on medbud.wiki right now and just have a look through everything that's available on the site. That's kind of sad, but like I said, yeah, hopefully by the time this is up, everything is back working again. I'm pretty sure I've just gone through everything that you need to know on how to get legal bud in the UK in 2023. This is real. This is it right now. This is how the law is. It's just so many people don't know about it because they can't advertise. Like none of these clinics, none of these pharmacies can advertise. It's all word of mouth. So um, yeah, the more people that know about it, the better. Hopefully some of you guys managed to get a prescription. That would be really, really sick. And I guess on that note, um, make sure you check out the sponsor of the day in the pinned comment down below and also check out the merchandise. That'd be really sick over at drewspremium.com. See you guys very soon soon uh, i'll be live streaming later on today at 9 p.m uh yeah um see you guys probably on the live stream on twitch later today in a bit peace